Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast for RomWills.com. And I'm your host, Rom Wills. Building a solid foundation. Now, as people know who uh, follow me, you know my main thing is business, right? And the principles I'm about to give are something you can do to not only build a business, just build anything, build a life, build an organization, build a relationship, really, right? These are just some basic things you got to think about, right? First of all, in building that foundation, take your time. Take your time. Make sure everything is in place. Don't don't do any don't do any shortcuts. Don't leave anything out. Make sure every piece is in there. You know, they um for people like some older people who might be familiar with Apollo 13 and they made a movie about it and it was an explosion that well, it caused a lot. It caused a lot of drama. They weren't able to do the moon landing, and it, it was uh, it was a lot of heroic effort to just to get the astronauts back to Earth. But they said all of that was caused by some little small piece that didn't cost much. That's important. How important it is to look at everything. But see, take your time. Look at all aspects of it. Sweat the details. You know. Do your research. And these aren't in any particular order. They really aren't. Because sometimes you're just in a position you can do one thing, but then something else has to get done or you got to do things out of order. But you do all of these things. Just have it on checklist. Do your research. You really should do the research first anyway. But keep researching. Not only research what you're trying to get into, but research new things coming. Research where it's going. Research the market. Anything. And like I say, it's not just for business. It's just for life. You know, a form of research in life is just knowing what's going on, period. Knowing what's happening, know what's going to affect your business, your relationship, uh, your organization, whatever. Always it be in research mode. And part of research mode is always asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. Now, people, you know, even though business is my um, thing I've always been about, people know me for relationships. And many people see me as a relationship expert. You know, some detractors might see me as something else, but uh, that's their own issue they need to deal with. But even to this day, for the, all the insight that I have for what, you know, I might know about, you know, whether it's just um, just dealing with somebody on the streets or some something on some tantra, I always ask questions. I still ask questions. I ask questions even of someone who, you know what, I even I know what they're going through, but I'll still ask a question because that person might have a different view than what I have and can add to my knowledge. Because ultimately all people are different. I can always learn. I always say I always learn from everybody. You know, people will call me a master teacher or a teacher, professor, uncle, whatever. That don't mean I can't learn from somebody um, else. Shoot, I'm still learning. I don't, you know what? And I've said this before. I have. I know an elder, elder who had a profound effect on my life. This gentleman, he's a minister. He's in his seventies, uh, and he said it. He said, "I'm still a student." This is a man in the seventies, wise, respected in his community. He said, "I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still evolving." And that's what I tell people. I'm still evolving. I'm still learning. I still ask questions. In fact, a lot of people told me, say, Rob, you you don't you buy to ask his stuff because I'm like, I want to know because that helps me. And see, that can help my business. If somebody could say, hey, you know what? I got a better idea for printing something or doing something a certain way. I'll still listen. Now, just to be clear, it got to be it got to be some sincere. It got to be a sincere thing. And really, I'm just be honest. If you do listen, be careful who you listen to. Those you can learn. You you listen to everything, but don't take any information from everybody. Like if you gotta uh, listen, the best people are the people doing what you're trying to do, who've already done it. That and people who've done what you're trying to do and they failed at it. This is why I say the ones who've already done it successful. Hey, that's obvious. They doing what you're trying to do. They made it work. The ones who didn't listen to them anyway. 
listen to them anyway, but listen to what they said that was a downfall because it could hit you too. You know, that same minister I mentioned, he said you can learn somebody from what they failed from somebody from what they failed at. Because then you know not to do the same thing. And people may say, oh, that's some crazy knowledge right there. You know, somebody failed. But you can learn from them. It's, you know what? If I see, I've never used drugs in my life. Well, never hard drugs. I ain't going to say I've never used drugs. I've, you know, I've, um, like everybody, I've lived a life. But I've never got addicted or anything. Because all I need to do is listen to somebody who had, get addic- who had got addicted. And you know what? I learned from them. So in business, you know, you know, listen, listen, and even listen to a customer, you know. But like I said, if you uh, take with a grain of salt, if you listen with somebody, some people try to be low key uh, disrespectful, you know, and they really trying to put you down. But you take that with a grain of salt. Listen to the tone. Look at the intent. Right. And I've talked about learn from mistakes. That was actually in there, too. Learn from your own mistakes. You know what? Just in life, period, you have a lot of people that are afraid to go out there and learn. They're afraid to fall down. There's nothing wrong with falling down. There's only something wrong with staying down. You know? I learned more from my mistakes in all aspects of my life. You know? I've learned more from jobs that I either had to leave. Or I think I got fired from one job for something, but I learned something there. It was like, hey, don't work for people. Don't work for people who don't got their plan together. Because if they don't got their plan together, they ain't gonna know what to do with you, All right? But I learned. I learned that. You know, you learn what not to do in business. You know, uh, people who know, especially people who follow my business channel, know I do a lot of vending. I mean, I could do shoot. I could do some workshops on vending and how to be successful at it. But in order to get successful, I had to learn from the mistakes. I had to learn. I say I had to learn how to approach people, how to look at people, how to get people to come to my table, how to be patient with people when they might ask a lot of questions. Like for example, and this could be something for my business channel. But for example, there's a lot of times when somebody will talk at, uh, you know, I'll meet somebody at a vending table or something. You know, they talking with me, don't look like they're interested in my product. And then they come back an hour later and buy like all the products on my table. So I learned to be patient with people. Just talk with them anyway. Don't get mad if they don't walk away. But see, that was a mistake because they might. there was a time when I first started. I might have been like, oh, they don't want it. I learned. Right. You learn from the mistakes. See, here's the thing with and those, and those are just a few. Those, those are just a few. You know what? We could sit here, get some people in here. We could add a bit more. Right? And like I said, I'm going to reiterate. It's not just for business. It's just for life, period. See, the thing with a solid foundation, it weathers the storms. That's why you can get some homes. They can be in the middle of a hurricane, flood, whatever. they still there. they got a solid foundation. You know? they solid. I remember, like, recently... The, Last few months, there was a that hurricane, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. Now, I remember when I visited Puerto Rico and I was in the countryside, I noticed there were a lot of houses. They were built on some stern foundations and they were built up. They were built up in such a way to actually handle a flood. That's a sturdy foundation. That's a foundation. See, that foundation handles the storms because I don't care what you're doing. There's a storm coming. You know, there, there, there's a storm. There's going to be a storm. Now, how you handle it is. Based on your foundation, because a storm can come, you like, eh? You know, it's like in uh, uh, financial, like a lot of people, and this is something I need to do on my business channel. And I think I did one video on it, and that's savings. Have a savings. A lot of people don't have a savings for anything, even if it's just a little bit, or they spend their money like crazy. But then when some emergency happens, they can't do anything. Their car breaks down, and that's it for a while. That's why you got a lot of people driving around. Um, they driving around. They caught them been in an accident. They driving around for months with that dent. You know, even if they have insurance because they can't pay the deductible because they don't have enough of a savings. So, you know, it's just like if you got to have a foundation for everything, finance, a uh, foundation and how just being who you are. You ever have to found a certain type of character, a foundation to weather anything that comes at you. 
Because ultimately, the thing you want to have that foundation for is yourself. It's not even your business or anything you do outside yourself. You want to have a solid foundation. That's why, you know, in the Bible it says, you know, train a child the way they should go. That's a foundation right there. That's why you can get some kids, they can they have that solid foundation. They can grow up and get into everything. And then they come back to what they were taught, the morals they were taught as children. So they build that foundation. Build it. Build it. I mean, and that's every every aspect of life. All right. So that's it for today. I want everybody to keep rising and transforming. Peace and blessings. <laughs>